take my butter and melt it down in a pot separately beforehand. And we have our sugar, our flour, our cinnamon, and a little vanilla extract. And of course, I'll, I do everything by hand. I don't even use an um, electric mixer. Um, why? Because I couldn't tell you why. It's not because it makes it taste any different, that's for sure. Um, but I figured, you know, hell, um, take this opportunity to, to show you guys, uh, you know, each part of the process and then, um, share a couple of tunes with you, talk a little junk about the world as it is and, uh, where we're headed and all that stuff and, and some thoughts that I had that I wanted to share. And other than that, you know, man, let's do this thing. So, <clears throat> one of the things I wanted to talk about was, you know, trying to, to do better by, um, you know, the ones you love going into the new year. Uh, I made a resolution, I think, that goes something like, you know, I'm going to do better by uh, all of my, you know, friends and family and loved ones um, than, I, than I have in the past. And, and what do I mean by that? Well, I am of the opinion that one of the things, ways in which um, we struggle is we think to ourselves that we're doing right by uh, others and, then, and we sort of um, get complacent about ourselves. You see, the thing about it is, it's very easy, I think, typically, for folks to get into this mindset where, you know, their own personal health and well-being um, sort of becomes ancillary to that of their, say, their family, right? Um, but the thing is, is that family that loves you or those friends that love you or that husband or wife or spouse or partner or um, whatever the case may be, who loves you dearly, right? Well, the thing is, if you're not around for them, by keeping yourself above ground, 
and taking good care of yourself in both mental and physical health, then what the hell good are you doing? Then? You know, are you really showing them love if you're treating yourself poorly? I think that, um, as is so often the case, it just gets kind of forgotten about. Uh, one's own personal health and well-being and how important it is to those that, that, that you love the most. I mean, you know, I guarantee you that uh, your significant other, your domestic partner, wouldn't want to come home and find you having a heart attack or something to that effect, right? From having, you know, not looked after yourself and gotten stressed out and whatnot. So, I think that that is something that um, we all need to do a little better uh, with uh, going forward into the 2021. Um, I'm not going to spend too much time talking about the more obvious aspects of everything, um, but I did want to say that. I did want to sort of express that notion. Back onto the uh, subject at hand, this pie. <clears throat> So I met the pie, uh, me and my ex were living over there at Briar Chapel, and I had wanted to make an apple crisp. And then I uh, decided in, you know, so doing, you know, which is a graham cracker crust kind of thing going on with the apple crisp. And, um, you know, so I decided to, um, you know, after investigating it a bit, um, that I was gonna, you know, do the thing, and I was gonna do it all by hand. And, well, then, in the middle of making the thing, I ran across this shortbread recipe. And I had known, in the past, I had made pies with my grandmother and stuff. stuff and so, I had known that shortbread was ostensibly a pie crust. And, you know, it thinned down, rolled out the rolling pin. And so, it got me to thinking. I found this shortbread recipe. And so, basically, I mixed together the shortbread recipe that I found on the internet um, with uh, the apple crisp. And the, the way it works is the shortbread, and the way it cooks in with the filling of the crisp, comes out at the consistency of like bread pudding. Um, and so that's where I get the whole phrase apple pudding pie. Pretty simple, it's just butter, apples, cinnamon, sugar, you know, basic, basic stuff. Um, a little vanilla extract, um, and so on. I see none of that's in focus, really, but uh, you'll have to trust me. That's what, that's what those things are, I guess. Um, so I don't really have time to mess with that right this second. <sighs> couldn't find my knife, fam. I mean, really, literally, could not find my knife, or a good knife, or the right knife. So I have the wrong knife, but, you know, whatever. Oh, so it goes. Thank <laughs> you.